Hello everyone, welcome to my video. I uh, hope everyone's having a great day. First thing I want to do is give my Creator and my Redeemer all the honor, glory, and praise. <clears throat> I kind of got a sore throat, so y'all just bear with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was driving down the interstate the other day, and uh, some things happened. This is how God talks to me. I don't hear voices and stuff like that, you know. Uh, um, but I'm going to start off with few, with some scriptures right here. What did Jesus mean by coming to bring a sword in Matthew 10, 34 through 36? I'm going to read this right quick. Matthew 10, 34, 36 describes Jesus telling, his, telling the, the disciples that he came not to bring peace to the world, but a sword. Jesus' sword was never a literal one. In fact, when Peter took up the sword to defend Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus rebuked rebuked him and told him to put away his sword for all those who draw the sword will die by the sword why then did jesus say do not suppose that i have come to bring peace on earth i did not come to bring peace but a sword he come to bring a sword what kind of sword did jesus come to bring among the name of the let me see if i will read this i'm gonna skip some of this so i don't make this video too long Still, it is inevitable that there will be conflict between good and evil, the Christ and the Antichrist, the light and the darkness, the children of God and the children of the devil. Conflict must arise between the two groups, and this can and does happen within a family in which some are believers and others are not. We should seek to be at peace with him, with all men, but never forget Jesus warned that we will be hated for his sake because those who reject him hate him. They will hate his followers as well. It's talking about us. In Matthew 10, 34 through 36, Jesus said he come at this time not to bring peace to the earth, but a sword, a weapon which divides and severs. As a result of his visit to earth, some children would be set against parents, and a man's enemies might be those within his own household. This is because many who choose to follow Christ are hated by their family members. This may be a part of the cost of discipleship, for love of the family should not be greater than love for the Lord. A true disciple must take up his cross and follow Jesus. He must be willing to face not only family hatred, but also death, like a criminal carrying his cross to his own execution. True followers of Christ must be willing to give up even to the point of hating. All that is in our lives, even our own families. If we are to be worthy of him, if we are to be worthy of him, in doing so, we find our lives in return for having given them up to Jesus Christ. Okay. I was driving down the interstate the other day, and, uh, um, well, let me go right here and read some more scripture in Revelation about the sword. The armies of heaven, this is Revelation 19.15, the armies of heaven dressed in fine linen, white and pure, follow him on white horses, and from his mouth proceeds a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. He has a name written on his robe and his thigh, King of King and Lord of Lords. There's a couple more down here. Those Swing the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come trample the grapes, for the wine press is full. The, the, vine, the wine vats overflow because their wickedness is great. It's talking about the world and their sins. It's over the cup of iniquity. The cup of sin is running over. And he will turn the hearts of fathers to the children. I think that's all I'm going to read. Out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that which he might smite the nations. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treads the winepress of the fierceness of the in wrath of Almighty God. Okay, I think I'm going to go show you what happened to me on the interstate the other day. This is how God speaks to me. I was driving down the interstate, and all of a sudden this truck comes up beside me. And has this image on there. I went and looked up all these companies. I couldn't find this image nowhere on these companies. Y'all can look it up, too. There's two going to be two names here I can give you that you can look this up, this image. You see the sword, the lion, and the horse, the rider on the horse, rider on the horse, and there's a lion's head. So let's, they're right there saying you, that's Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the King of kings and Lord of lords, really, that's 
show me an image of, of him coming to this earth because it's time. I mean, it's time and people, you need to wake up. <laughs> need to wake up, but all right. I thought that was really pretty fascinating there, but, uh, you know, I mean, I thought, man, I've never seen that image before. But on the side of this truck was, I'm going to show you what the name of this. I got a, had a picture of it on the back, from the back side of it, but it didn't get put in with these pictures somehow. But um, that's what's on there, warrior, 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 like warrior. That's on the back of that truck on the side, too. And I looked that company up. I couldn't find nothing about it. Nowhere it was like, you know, I mean, I'm sure somebody can, but I looked for two, three pages on Google and uh, couldn't find it. So I seen that. <clears throat> um, ain't even going to go to these numbers right here, 401776. Y'all know that um, 40 years is, is significant for the children of Israel in the desert for 40 years. And six represents man. 177, I was born on the corner of 7th Street and Highway 71. When you read it the Hebrew way, it goes like that. But, you know, that really wasn't too significant, I, you know, really. But So whenever this truck passed me, the next truck that come around me was this truck right here. My last name is Garrison, R.E. Garrison Trucking. That's the next truck that come up beside me. And uh, I thought, well, that's kind of... I mean, it's just the way God talks to me. Um, he just, you know, he shows me signs. Some people say you can't see that you're crazy if you read tag, you know, see signs on tags. But if y'all will start watching the tags, you'll start seeing repeated numbers over and over and over and over again. But this here is, uh, like these numbers here, too, are pretty significant. But it make my video too long. But uh, sometimes I divide, you know, split them apart like that, 222, and then the 450. But... That's the truck came around my next after after this came up after beside me. That image right there. So I'm saying that uh, we're at the end of time. I don't know how much longer we have really. At the end of the age, I should say. Because uh, it's going to be another thousand years after. I believe we're in the tribulation myself. And uh I believe that's a kind of a sign because that's what happened. The four horsemen are coming and they're going to, if you've been where I've been lately, the ponds are drying up everywhere. You know, these people's farms, I mean, they're, they're half the water is going out of them. We're dried up because there's a drought on this land. Except for the uh, hurricane IIAN went, he hit land four times, that hurricane did. Ian, is the name of it, is God's name used to be Anu. A N. So that's telling you right there that that's God's name. For one, that's God's name. I N. That's in the Sumerian. You can go look it up. Anunnaki. He was the father. I mean, we don't get taught about this in churches. The before the God gave us a Hebrew system. We didn't know God's name or nothing back. You know before. You know before that. So what I'm saying is, but also that name, N. Equals John, like John the Baptist. John the Baptist is coming to proclaim Jesus Christ is coming to issue judgment on this evil earth, on these evil rulers. They're not going to escape. The evil rulers of this earth will not escape God's wrath. I don't care if they hide in bunkers, thirty foot under the ground. They're gonna, they're gonna. It, it'll get to the point where men's gonna seek death and can't find it because what they're they're changing our bodies. But uh, well, I just had a strike, so I've got to be careful there. I'm not even going to go there, but you all know what I'm talking about. All right, but then uh, that night that I'd seen all that, I'm going to show you this video I took of the, of the, the uh, there was a blood moon come up that night after I seen that. Those trucks that had those names on it, that image. And I just thought, man, i got to record that. So, uh it's pretty crazy, some you know this moon footage. The edges, of, one edge of the moon, were. Uh, I've done this with the Nikon P, one thousand. And if you want to take pictures like this, you can, you should get you one. But that's some that's some crazy stuff on the edge of that moon. You know, it was a blood moon. That's why I recorded it. Usually, you know, I don't record the moon all the time. But it was about half halfway, half a moon, you know, that night. So. 
I'm just saying that's how God talks to me. The way he shows me things and, uh, you know, uh, and I'm grateful to him. Um, I, um, he's been good to me. Even through all the trials of this earth, he's been good to me. He's been good to my family. And uh, I can't thank him enough, you know, because he's, he's, uh, he gave me everything I wish wished for. Have a healthy family and, you know, nothing happened to him. We went through some pretty scary times a couple of times, but God was always there. He, he, made, it, he, he made a way to fix it when I had some of my family was in a terrible wreck and Oh my, that was the worst feeling I ever had in my life. But I want to thank everyone for coming to this my channel, my video. I've got a um I hope everyone has a great day and I'm gonna ask you to please press the like button, subscribe or and press the notification. So if I do a video, I, I've got several to do that I've recorded and just uh a few reasons I haven't done any, but I'm gonna try to work on some more today and tomorrow. But Thank y'all for coming to my channel. I hope everyone has a great day. And uh, I, I believe that time's almost up. Uh, there's things going on in this world. Joe Biden said that there's an Armageddon coming, you know, just stuff like that. I'm going to do a video on that in a little bit. And uh, so maybe I'll get it put up tonight. Thank y'all for coming.